Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 University Life Part 2. So here we are in um, Hidden Springs. The reason why I decided to choose this world is because, I, I don't know, I haven't played it that much and I think it's really pretty and um, it's just something, like I said, I haven't played in a while. So I decided, you know, why not do my, my Let's Play here? And for any of you that are actually curious about this um, town and where you can get it or this world, it's actually a Sims 3 uh, store item and you can download it from the, the world section or whatever on there. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and move in household. Obviously, we are going to um, pick our Berman family. If you haven't seen part one, which is basically create a sim and you get to hear a little bit about them and um, stuff like that, I definitely, definitely recommend that you, uh, you, you do so. So we're gonna go ahead and select them um, and find find a place that they can quite possibly afford. We're not gonna be spending too much time um, at our house, so I guess it really doesn't matter. And the main goal here is just to get things at, or get the house as cheap as possible. Um, I don't even, I'm not even worried about like a, a two bedroom at this point, but this one here is 13. And I honestly think those are our only options because we only have 18,500, which, is not not a lot of a lot of dinero. What is this? Okay, so this little cottage getaway is only twelve thousand, which means we would have about six ish, right? I don't know. I suck at math, but anyway, cheapest. So we're gonna go for it. We're gonna purchase the the little cottage um, on on three three Ashway, and hopefully. Um, everything works out and we have money to go ahead and start enrolling in university. If you didn't know, um, there's obviously two Sims, brother and sister. We have Kyle um, and then we have his sister and Kyle wants to be in the science career and uh, his sister wants to be in, I, th I think, the journalism career. Anyway, so the first thing when you jump on in, it says check out your new smartphone. Your phone has been upgraded and can now send text messages. Of course, why couldn't it? Use social networking skills, apps, swap phone skins, and even has an improved camera. Be sure to uh, use the phone to check out the new social groups, which, which is really cool. One thing I definitely learned about the phone is that all the options are not unlocked at once, like to take pictures with people and to do all that mess. Like these are things you have to um, unlock by using the phone and becoming part of different social groups and stuff like that. So we are gonna wait for the little uh, llama to come and hopefully drop off our care package. Um, I have had a glitch where he doesn't do it. So we are gonna cross our fingers and um, I'm gonna let these two kind of get to know each other a little bit. One thing I definitely wanna just throw out there is I will be continuing my seasons let's play part 40 will be the last part um and i am doing the mini series still obviously the uploads on those are going to be a little more slower than what they were um which to some of you was still slow <laughs> and so you know because i'm doing this and stuff like that so hopefully um you know we'll, we'll get it all done anyway i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of forward on through and wait for this this llama looking thing to come or yak i don't even know what it is and uh, i'll be right back Okay, that did not take very long at all, but here comes the mascot, uh, and she actually is strutting her stuff, walking around like she just don't care. Um, nothing to be embarrassed here. So this is the little guy, and he comes to your doorstep when you move in and, and drops off your, your little package. Um, it says, hi, your friendly Simis University mascot is here to spread some school spirit. Uh, I also bring the university welcome kits, which ha uh, which has useful university information and fun freebies, which I love free stuff. So uh, Kyle's going to go ahead and do the honors. He's going to get his university freebies, and then he's going to take the university aptitude test. Obviously, they are new sims. They don't have any skills. They just came out of high school, and, um, you know, so they're, they're, the scores are going to probably suck. But... I'm pretty sure the traits and stuff also factor in. So here Kyle has some of his new gear on. He's looking quite fancy dancy. Um, and Carly, what are you doing? You are streaming a video online um, and it's summer, 72 degrees, seven days till fall. Uh, let's see. We're also gonna let her get her university freebies. And why not have her also take the aptitude test and we get to see who is smarter. Um, 
So let's fast forward. Okay, so it says congratulations on your Sims University Aptitude Test Score. Enrolling in university um, is as simple as using the phone or computer. Oh, we actually we actually did earn a partial scholarship. Yay! How exciting. Okay, so he earned um, a score of one thousand four hundred and thirty out of twenty four hundred. So actually, Kyle is a genius. I'm just saying. I've seen a lot of scores, and a lot of people's Sims only have eight hundred. You know. Um, 600. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying nothing, but I am saying my, my Sims are a little bit smarter. I, I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, he earned a partial scholarship ship of $100. And these are kind of like the ideal um, um, things for him to do. But unfortunately, he doesn't want to do any of those things. He actually wants to do science and medicine. So um, he won't get any bonus credits, but he will get a thousand off his tuition, which is good. It's fine for me. So um, then you get an option here to enroll in university. Uh, we can use the smartphone or a computer and we will get simoleons or simoleons or whatever the hell they're called. Um, and this is Carly's new gear. Not as nice as Kyle's, but not too bad. Um, we'll, we'll wait for her to hurry up and get her test scores in. I wonder what other freebies we get. Um, we got the right flag song. Oh, <laughs> this is what I mean by Sims that aren't smart. Gosh, I totally jinxed myself. But anyway, <laughs> Carly got a whopping score of 683 out of 2400. Obviously, she didn't get any scholarships or any um, any credits, but whatever. We will make up for that hopefully later. <laughs> anyway, so same thing. Enroll in university via um, the phone or computer. So I think that is pretty much it. What we can now go have them do is enroll in university. Um, and these are also some of the other new little phone options. You can text, send woohoo to text. Oh my god, you dropped your phone. Is it okay or is it broken? So he broke his phone right off of the bat, Klutz McGee. <laughs> But he's still using it. Oh, no. <laughs> when we just earned intuition, we're probably going to have to replace it with the phone. So that's what happens. If you play with your phone too much, you can drop it and break your screen like Kyle did here. Anyway, so for tuition so far, it is only $250. Okay. Um, oh, for her. Wait. Okay. So... We'll do Kyle first. Um, we're going to obviously enroll him in science and medicine. We will do... Um, eight, 18 credits in one term. I hope that's not a lot. But uh, for Carly, we'll, we'll do 12 credits. Um, and obviously she's going to be in... Let's see the... What would it be? The business is for basically um, the business and criminal careers. Technology is for law enforcement and military. Science and medicine is in the science and medical careers. Fine arts, music, culinary, or film. Uh, communications is obviously journalism, um, so that would be Carly. Journalism, political, and fortune telling, which is quite, quite interesting. Or you could do physical education, and that will give... Um, them an instant level boost and higher pay in the professional sports. So basically that's why you're going to school to get a, a level or a higher, I guess a higher level and um, more money, which is which is amazing. So for the two of these guys, uh, looks like it's only going to be $1,700, which I think is great. So hopefully everything works out and I don't have any glitches. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and accept. Um, are you sure you want to? No, I don't. Oh crap. I almost did it. Good thing they asked. Okay communications right okay let me make sure all right yes I, I'm sure now uh-huh all right okie dokie so you also earn a hundred dollar bonus for enrolling in university which is nice so we have um, 4,000 simoleons left and hopefully while we are away um, we'll earn some extra cash doing jobs but here they go our little babies are taking their uh, their whatchamacallers um, <laughs> their suitcases and then they go in the minivan and they go off to the big boy school. Carly was too cool for her um, suitcase so she obviously didn't need it which is kind of weird because usually girls they need the uh, the suitcases more than the men. But anyway we are obviously traveling 
to Simis University, and when we arrive, I will I will see you guys there. So just just hang tight. <laughs> so here we are on campus, and as we were panning on in so majestic like, Jennifer's leg fell asleep, and I was basically having a heart attack in my chair. So I couldn't show you guys that, and I'm not joking. Like, oh, I hate when that happens. Anyway. Obviously, it's male and female, so we have two options here, people. We can either be in a dorm or we can rent a house. But obviously, you know what? I think the cool thing would to do, or the cool thing to do, would obviously be in a dorm. I think that would be awesome. So we have a couple choices. We have Henry Hall. Um, we have Mullen Hall, which is pretty close to the campus, actually. Um, and then we also have De Deanda Hall, and obviously none of these. Um, cost anything to rent however if you were to pick a house um it just kind of depends on what your your finances are at the moment and um what you're what you're looking for like you can also have roommates and things like that come in and you can select how many you want and what gender or if if they're even in the same major as you i know i, I did play a little bit with that and that was kind of fun it was nice just to have somebody in the house you know because i felt like kind of lonely or my sims did anyway because you know i don't know so i did that it's kind of cool but anyway uh for these two i think a dorm would be most appropriate and i like i don't know which one i like though um i don't know i, I does it really matter this one's this one's fancier so we'll we'll take henry hall even though it's not that close to the campus it's like right across the way from the swimming pool and stuff like that so um yeah, I hopefully we will like it here and once we get on in, we will pick our beds and start kind of marking our territory. Um, let's see. Okay. First thing I'm going to do before absolutely anything is I'm going to go ahead and check my class schedule to make sure it works because that was one of the glitches I had. So as you can see, because he's taken so many credits, um... He, he's going to have a lot of different classes. And thankfully, um, he really doesn't go to school that late. So the latest class that he has is on um, Monday, Wednesdays. Oh, no, he kind of does. Okay, he goes to school quite a bit. And um, yeah, I don't know. But that's because he took a lot of credits in one um, term. I'm pretty sure Carly's schedule should be a little bit lighter. Um, hers is actually pretty, pretty, pretty full too. So hopefully... We will have a lot of time to chill and do things, but thankfully um, the class schedule is indeed showing up. So I'm actually going to pause this real quick and take a, take a peek. Um, these are all of our, our little dorm brothers and sisters. This hat really cracks me up. He does look like a gnome. Um, and it looks like we have a twin over here. What's her name? Her name is Ashley Carano. I like it. She's kind of like, she looks like a little, a little Barbie. Um, definitely love her hairstyle. Oh my gosh. Speaking of which, I totally forgot to show you guys the girl hairstyles in Create a Sim. Like, how terrible am I? Like, really? How terrible am I? Oh my gosh. So, I'm going to actually go ahead and do that right now. Hopefully, I can go ahead and do Edit Create a Sim. And I will show you guys the girl hairstyles. I cannot believe I forgot. Urgh. Anyway, um... We'll go ahead and just show you guys, I suppose, because I don't want to leave that out, and at least you'll you'll somewhat see it. So, for the regular hairstyles, um, we have quite quite a few, I think, just overall for the girls. Um, hold on, let me just filter this out real quick. Oh, wait, maybe we don't. Maybe I totally lied. So we have this little updo bun looking thing, which is too freaking cute. I think this is. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's kind of edgy. I like the little French braid in the back and then the different types of types of bunsies. I do like those. For the actual hairs themselves, you get you do get quite a bit. Um, you get the little ponytail here, which actually looks really nice on Carly and it has like a headband and you can customize the different layers. Of course, females get their own set of dreads. Um, and then this is the hair that Carly is wearing right now. I love it. I think it's too cute. Like it's so like I guess childish almost. Um, I do like it. And then another kind of like ponytail style um, with headbands and things like that. And then the last thing um, is this hairstyle that kind of looks like a banana, a banana leaf. I don't know. It's quite interesting. But yeah, that is it for the girl hairstyles. Hopefully I didn't forget anything else. You guys are going to probably yell at me in part one. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, 
We're gonna go ahead and jump right back on in. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, we got our suitcases and we are just gonna go ahead and move our little happy butts in. Um, I'm gonna show you all around because I, I don't think I've seen this this uh, dorm quite yet, but I'll just go ahead and pause. They did not move their suitcases that far inside. Anyway, this is obviously like the little cafeteria area. We have the kitchen, which is quite fancy. Um, and then these are some rooms. We're just gonna turn on, uh, what do you call it? Turn on all lights. Um, like a little study area, which is nice. And then like a computer lab. This place is actually really stocked with all the finest amenities. I like it, I really do. And that's why I like living in dorms versus a house. Cause in a house you have to kind of travel like everywhere. And in a dorm, you kind of have everything um, around you. So here are some rooms. Oh, I really like the way these are decorated. These are too cute. I think this is definitely a Carly bed right here. Uh, but we'll obviously just go ahead and um, zoom around a little bit more. Um, this is the second floor, so I think there's one more floor. And this is like a little <laughs> freaking man cave up here like this. Um, and then a single bed, which is nice. I think, you know what, I think our friend here, Kyle, is going to go ahead and set ownership and make this his room. I mean, I would hate to share space with another person, but I would love to live under the same roof. Um, so, and then also to keep anyone else out, highly suggest you, um, you locking the store, but we'll do everybody but my household. So his sister can go in here from time to time. And then over here is just another like single room. And, um, this actually is a really cute room too. And then another room for the girls, but I like this one, but I like the other one a little bit more for Carly. And then there's also a workout room and, of course, a place to park your car if we indeed had one, which I don't think we do, but maybe we can drive one of these. I don't know. Um, so for Carly, it looks like she's kind of SOL and she's going to be sharing a room with someone. Uh, we'll go ahead and make this our bed right here. Um, and let's see. Carly Berman. And then we'll go ahead and we'll set ownership for Ashley Carano because I kind of want to be her friend. And then we will lock, uh, specify sims for this door. Ashley Carano, Carly Berman, and Kyle Berman. So these are the only people that can come in to our room. And hopefully we locked out all the doors. Um, I really like those lights. Okay, so let's just go ahead and actually, you know what? We don't really need to worry about these right now. It looks like she's already making nice with um, her, her roommate here. Where is she? I can't even see her. Oh, who's she gonna? She's gonna go tell Ashley a funny story. Um, and then it looks like Kyle wants to learn the science skill. He also wants to send a uh, text message to Tanisha Westfall. Um, and then Carly wants to learn a street art skill. I thought you were kind of preppy, but I guess maybe you are just a tidge bit rebellious. She also wants to meet a jock. Or not rebellious. Um, yeah, I thought she was a jock, but anyway. So let's see, who is a jock here? I think Carly, or I think, yeah, Ashley Carano is a jock. So why aren't we, anyone else? Uh, ooh, Jacob Solomon, hello. We will go ahead and be friendly introduction with him. And the one thing I would say about having roommates and stuff is they are absolute freaking pigs. Like, absolute pigs. Like, it's not even funny. And when you're shaking the man's hand, you better look at him dead in the eyes, girl. Um, he's actually kind of, kind of, kind of attractive. I don't know. I don't know how she feels about this, but she's definitely gonna, gonna play the field a little bit. Um, we're gonna chat with him. Uh, ask about his alma mater. Ask about his day. And then we will also play some rock, paper, scissors. And it looks like our uh, our little friend here, Kyle, is getting, oh my gosh, what is up with these cabinets? Is getting quite um, nice with, with Ashley Carano here. I like it. Kind of seems like he is taking a little bit of a liking to her. So we are going to be funny, or at least try to be anyway. We're going to joke about her professors. <laughs> We're going to also show her the internet cat video. Um, if memory serves me right, we should be um, heading over for like orientation or whatever in just a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what time that starts. Um, otherwise, I would kind of want to go like out and do something. But um, I guess we can just wait. 
for that. Um, I'm going to have him talk to her just a little bit more. We'll talk about cooking, um, computers, you know, we'll ask about our alma mater. Um, we'll enthuse about new house. And then also express need for exercise. And then after she is done playing <laughs> rock, paper, scissors with this guy, we'll have her um, clean up. Uh, this little garbage stuff on the floor because I want to try to keep this place clean, but um, I don't know. It's kind of a hard do when you have, a hard thing to do when you have this many sins in one house. But uh, let's see. It says your sim just became friends with another sim. What? Who are we friends with? We're not friends with anybody yet. Um, she's gonna go ahead and turn on the TV for a little bit. Um, I guess I mean I'm like trying to wait, but let's just go ahead and. Uh, Check the job board and see if there's any dares that we could do. Um, let's go ahead and see here. It says, dare to kiss another sim. It says, a dare has been issued. Find a random sim and successfully kiss them or forever be mocked by your peers. Uh, we should totally do that. Uh, so the only guy that I think that I would ever want to try to kiss is, um, what was his name? Jacob Solomon. Um, that's kind of, that's kind of one I would definitely, um, definitely like to do a smoochie rooney with. Uh, let's go ahead and go up here again. We'll be romantic. We'll ask his sign. Of course, we'll ask him if he is single. We'll compliment his appearance and also his personality. And, um, why, why can't she do anything? Uh, what? Okay, let's go ahead and try one more time. Oh, what? Did I lock myself out of the own, the own, my own door? I think I did. I think I totally. Yeah, cause how? Why are they in my room? All right, I'll have to handle this later. Anyway, it looks like we have to um, go to the university for the meet and greets. Um, <laughs> Kyle's like the last one. He also wants to uh, meet a rebel, so we'll have to definitely do that and um, prepare a meal. So, I think Carly is just about almost there, and they're riding on bicycles. Now, if you're in a sorority, like one of the girls' sorority, you get like a really sweet ride. Like, really nice car. Um, unfortunately, that was obviously not the case here. Um, so, we are running on over to the meet and greets, and I think it's... Is it apply for extra funds? Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, I guess if you're like really low on money, you can apply. Anyway, this is the meet and greet, and it is at the, let's see, what center is it at? It's at um, the Connors Student Student Union Building, and um, it's the little meet and greet. I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but she's going to take some freebies. We are going to get a university poster, a candy bar, um, a flying disc soda and then also a kick you bag then we can read about our curriculum um which i guess we could go ahead and do she's totally stocking up we'll definitely have uh, kyle do the same but first it says welcome to nicholas school of business at sims university communication students will shape the next generation of media and marketing at the fac the and the faculty are committed to your academic success all the students in the uh, communications majors receive a mobile radio station when they enroll it's a phenomenal tool for developing your skills and media presence outside the classroom and mo and most uh, class activities will also make use of it carry the model or mobile radio station at all time blah 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 that's a really long list but pretty much you get the point so he's also gonna grab a university uh, thing and then soda uh, grab a freebie, a disc, and a kicky bag as well. I want her to go ahead and, and grab a couple more sodas. Um, typically, my sims don't like the candy bars. They throw up, but if we can just go ahead and stock up on soda, we should be good for a while. I think that's all the freebies we can get. I don't know. Um, she wants to eat the candy, but let's, ha let's have her talk to her professor. I mean, hopefully... He's a guy. Um, we could do naughty, naughty things. Quite honestly, yeah, we'll have him talk to her or his own professor as well. Uh, let's see. I think we could actually find out. Um, who, okay, so our professor is Billy Jean Sparks, um, which is interesting. And then his professor, 
He doesn't know yet, I guess. I don't know why not. Um, okay, so let's go upstairs and see what's happening up here. Um, <laughs> she is talking to Brian Peterson, but while we're up here, I suppose we can go ahead and maybe, uh, what is he doing? He's going to solve the equation. Oh, let's go have him solve that equation. And then I guess these boards you can actually, oh, cool. You can actually work on these. That's pretty nice. So it's like a real, real, like a whiteboard. That is too cool. I like it. She's already like starting to flirt her way up with these men. I think she has a thing for the jocks, but we'll leave we'll leave Kyle alone for a little bit. Let him, you know, become some sort of brainiac or whatever he's doing, and we'll we'll talk with this guy because I definitely want to get in with the jocks. So if we can befriend him, um, where is he going? Maybe we can. Oh, he's gonna go paint. Well, here's another jock, Muggsy, Muggsy something or other. But let's go ahead and do friendly introduction with him. Oh my gosh, he is extremely muscular. Uh, let's be friendly and ask about his alma mater too. Um, we'll, we'll get to know him and also we'll try to be funny because, you know, laughter definitely breaks the ice a little. Uh, we'll show him a gross video and then we'll, we'll talk about the university a little bit. Um, and then Kyle is gonna gossip about his roommates which he doesn't even really know yet but he's totally down with it oh my gosh he's talking about that one blonde girl <laughs> did you hear this is like her fourth time trying to pass the same exact class how embarrassing um, looks like they're definitely chatting it up and he's already gonna go play fires in the sky but why don't we try to play um can we have him stop all right let's try over here then let's play some juice pong with uh, is there any girls? No girls, but we could do Brian. We could do Brian Pearson. Um, maybe he'll be interested to play with us. So you can play tennis, or you can do juice pong, aka beer pong, which is pretty exciting. I love the little red cups. That's definitely authentic to the theme. Surprisingly, I've never played this game a day of my life, but of course I can live uh, live through it with the Sims. And he made it, so he had to drink. Um. That's cool. I like this. This is a really cool little little gizmo. Uh, received text message from Han Hannah Germanata. Uh, so let's let's see what that text message says. Who's Hannah? Um, it looks like we were invited to a party. Okay, it says. What? Let me see it. Hannah Germanata has a juice kegger starting soon, and Kyle Berman better not miss it. We will totally attend that party. Hopefully, he's gonna go there. Hopefully, um, thought I said attend the party. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna go or not. Maybe she got it. No, she's still talking to Muggsy. Um, let's see. What? I don't understand what happened. Why can't we go see the damn party? And it doesn't show up here either. And I don't know who the hell Ham Hannah Germanata is anyway. All right. I don't know who she is. So I guess, no. All right, well, whatever. Let's go have um, Kyle, no, we'll have him go, we'll have him go to Keith's comics for a little bit because he's a nerd. He likes that kind of stuff. And hopefully he can, he can meet one of his little fellow, fellow nerds. Um, and Carly's fine. She actually got level one of the jock, um, jock thingy jock social group or whatever so she's definitely you know kind of achieving her goals and she definitely wants to be part of that that group so she can she can feel cool about herself she has kind of low self-esteem don't judge anyway i'm not going to fast forward through this because he's taking forever to ride his bike um and this is keith's comics i really like this this is cool i like it a lot i'm not into comics ne necessarily but this is definitely a really cool venue and they have like a little that's cool i like this um all right well let's see here happy hour is over huh um maybe we can go buy comics over here i mean we we have quite a bit of money and she needs to make out with a sim so hold on a second Who's she friends with? Okay, you know what? Come over here. We're gonna try something with Muggsy, and I don't know if he'll f fall for it. But let's um, ask his sign, and we'll we'll ask if he's single, and then we'll go ahead and flirt a little bit, and then after that we'll see where we're at with him. 
so I'll let her do all those things real quick. Hopefully he doesn't leave. All right, so let's go run over there real quick. Okay, um, but first we'll, we'll look at the comics. So we can do vintage comics, which are collector's pieces, I am assuming, or we can do regular ones. Uh, wait a second. Juice Pulp Romance. It's by Brittany Aaron. Uh, we have Fishmaster. Nothing quick foot. I don't know. Um, we have a lot of different ones here, actually. I don't really... Plasma Bug? That kind of sounds cool. Um, Neo Knight Neor. Sure. The Incredible Bulk. Okay, you know I have to get that. Uh, I think... And the Flamingo Dancer. That's kind of expensive, but... Alright, so we're going to spend $54 on comics. And hopefully she can complete this dare. Um, and then he'll play a game really quick. And then after that we'll have him out and read one of his comics or something. Dude, this girl wastes no time whatsoever. And she's actually really, um, really making an impression on Mr. Muggsy over here. She wants to play Juice Pong. Of course you do. Oh, no, you want to buy a, a table tennis. Jen, have a little more faith. Okay, so flirty, flirty. Alrighty, let's uh, go ahead and we'll do the heat of the moment kiss. I don't know if he'll like it. Oh no, he's mad. He's like, why would you do that? You probably have like herpes or something. Gross. <laughs> he's not happy. Okay, well I'm sorry. Did I at least complete? No. How embarrassing. I'm sorry. I don't have cold sores, I promise. Um, we'll, we'll try to rack it up a little bit. He's definitely giving us um, a second chance. All right. So after that, maybe we'll we'll play some um, we'll play some tennis with him, and we'll we'll continue our relationship after she goes to the bathroom. But let's go check up on Kyle because I feel like he's kind of in the dark here. They don't have a lot of things in common, so quite often Kyle will kind of do his own thing. Um, nerd. Okay. Do a friendly introduction. Uh, we definitely. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Uh, no, she's a rebel, so I guess that kind of works because we do have a want to meet a rebel. So put down the video game, sir, and go meet this girl, because that's what he wants to be part of. He wants to be part of the rebels and the nerds. So that's kind of that's kind of hard to do considering how many classes he has. It's definitely going to be a challenge. Um, he wants to gain enough rebel influence to join the social group or something like that. Rebel knowledge? Influence knowledge, that's right. He wants to study. Of course you do. So we'll go ahead and put that one instead. Um, let's be funny. A joke about professors. Show her a funny video. Tell her a funny story. And then maybe we can um, do this about new house. Talk about university. Get to know her a little bit. And then I think that's it for now. Alright, so let's go ahead and just fast forward through all this. It says Carly Berman is now a wannabe within the Jock Social Group. So she's on level two already, and she is playing table tennis. Um, he's actually doing quite well. So we'll have him go to the bathroom. Um, continue hopefully talking to this girl and we'll go check on Carly too as well just to see what she's doing it's 9 20 uh, we still have oh we have class in 15 hours so probably after a couple more minutes playing with the incredible hunk over here uh, we'll go home and what do we have to do um, probably eat something and then take a shower so let's just let's just go ahead and um, be done with this right now we will ask to be protected. Then we'll go ahead and cry on his shoulder. <laughs> um, no, actually, we'll do we'll do the uh, school cheer. <laughs> we can totally be his little cheerleader. See, I told you, Kyle Berman did not enjoy the chunky nougat surprise one bit. So he does not like the damn candy bar, and sometimes they actually get sick. But uh, we'll have um, we'll have Kyle go home. It's kind of late, and he wants to be well rested. His classes is starting in 10 hours, so. <laughs> that is too freaking cute. Oh no, Carly. <laughs> it like totally exploded in her face, and she looks really upset about it. So I think that's a good indication that uh, we need to go home. I mean, 
She's already got rejected for her first kiss and had a soda totally explode in her face. Not to mention, I'm pretty freaking sure that his phone's still broken. So how do we go about fixing that? We got a phone call too. Repair phone, $150. So I guess we'll have to repair the phone. Um, let's go ahead and have her zoom in. It says, we missed you at the party, Kyle. Hopefully you can make it next time. Well, hopefully next time I will know where you live because I do not have a freaking clue. And then when Carly gets home, we have to fix that situation where she couldn't even get into her own room. I don't know what I did. Um, so here we are. Everybody looks like they're sleeping. Um, nobody's in my bed, which is great. Um, and then somebody made a tofu dog, but we're a vegetarian, right? So tofu is fine, I hope. So we'll, we'll grab, a, grab a plate of that. And I think I told him to go home, but I don't... Oh, no, he's already here. He's actually doing a little bit of chess. Um, but we'll have him, we'll have him go to sleep, so. He gets to sleep in this room all by himself. He should feel so lucky about it. Alright, is there anything we can put in here? Oh, look at the fire going. <laughs> he has a nice spot. He really does. Um, this is his backpack. We should kind of customize this. We'll do that in the next part. Um, but I'll go ahead and put this somewhere. Oh, no, it doesn't, what? It doesn't fit anywhere. Alright, I'll worry about that later then. Um, okay, and then after Carly is done eating, I think she will be pretty much good. Uh, we'll have her go to sleep, and then before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and try to lock the door one more time. It says, oh, Sims who cannot open this door. Duh, Jen. <laughs> All right, so we'll do that, and then her, and then Jacob Solomon. I don't care. He can come in. Um... So just just these people, cause we don't we don't know them, and that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna have her just speed it on through, um, and I think that's pretty much it for um, part two of Let's Play The Sims 3 University Life. And uh, yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you all in part three. Bye bye.